Hello and welcome again to our channel. After some requests, in this video I will show you my rates, my expos and the control surfaces movements I'm using right now in my epilogue. I'm sure this will not be my final settings, because once you start really practicing you fine tune your settings, the dual rates, the expos, everything, but at least it can be useful for you to have a reference or starting point if you are in <laughs> waiting for the maiden flight for example. So there are very sophisticated and modern metrology systems, but for this video we measure the degrees with a simple inclinometer from Amazon, very cheap tool, and with a ruler. For the ailerons and elevator I use the, the inclinometer and the ruler, and for the rudder a goniometer, so to measure the deflection angle. So let's start with the ailerons. If you remember my analysis of the P21, I normally use three flight conditions. Let's call them normal flight, snap roll and spins. So for normal flight, I am using almost 8 degrees up and down. You have to, it's very important that it has the same movement up and down each elevator. And this equals to around 16 millimeters of movement. And I'm, me I'm measuring this from the center of the, let's say, the wing profile and to the center of the aileron. For snap rolls, I'm using around 20 degrees, uh, which equals to 38 millimeters. And for the spins, as I explained in, in that video, normally I prefer to be able to play a little bit with the rotation speed, depending on the condition. So normally the elevate the aileron uh, movement I have is more or less the same as for normal flight. In the case of the elevator, I'm using around uh, 10 degrees up and 11.4 degrees down. Normally I use more movement in negative flight and I also use less expo to feel more comfortable holding the airplane in negative flight. I will talk about this later. So for the snap rolls, uh, for the manual snap I have around 12% of 12 uh, degrees of, of movement and 9.6 for the snap roll with the switch that I use for the P21 for example. And for the entry of the spin, normally I use the maximum I have, so which is around 20 degrees positive, 23 negative, so the maximum. And you will see that with that is more than enough for to entry the spin in any condition. It's great. And about the rudder, the rudder I use 40 degrees for normal flight, which is almost 100% uh, of the movement. But if you remember, for normal flight I use the maximum movement, but I play with high expos. I will show you it now in, in the radio. For snap rolls I use half, around 20 degrees, and for spins again I use the same as for normal flight, so all the movement uh, available. Okay, so let's see the, the dual rates with, the, with my transmitter. So, First of all, remember that all these rates are not very significant, just to have an idea, but it's not something that you have to, to copy directly, because uh, depending on the horns, the servos, uh, the travel adjustment, everything depends on a lot of things that my exact dual rates uh, have the same effect for you. But well, at least, uh, just to show you, and here in this video I will show the, the rates I'm using right now with the epilogue. So let's go to the start with the alien. See, perfect. So as you can see, 30% both sides for normal flight. For snap rolls, I'm using 75, and for the spin, the same as for normal flight. 30%, 25 of expo. Nothing, nothing weird. Elevator. Let's see elevator. Here, as you can see. I have uh, more movement in the negative, 45% compared to 37.5, and less expo. So it is really sensitive to the negative. This is something uh, personal, but uh, at the end I want to hold my airplane just just moving slightly the the stick. So that is just a personal preference, but just to hold the airplane better in negative flight so this is why i need more movement and a faster reaction more linear let's say not as exponential as the for normal flight 
then for snap roll I have a little bit more movement more or less the same expose and for spins as you can see full and a little bit more expo to make it softer you know because if you increase that much the the, the elevator and you use the other expos you can feel that you have a lot of movement and yeah that's basically it for the router 100% both sides and 45% of expo is how I feel comfortable for example if I give it to my father my father will rise this to 60 or 70 because it's too sensitive but so how I hold the, the, the stick I'm not uh, comfortable going to the extreme so this is why yeah I have the airplane quite sensitive and yeah for the router the same so 45% of expo for snaps less expo because I have um, half of the movement and for spins the same as for normal flight and that's basically it so here you have the table with all the reference values the angles and also the the movements as i said take it as a reference it can be helpful for you maybe as a starting point especially if you have a bj craft airplane as all of them share uh, similar designs it can be useful for all of them and that's all for this video if you like it uh, consider subscribing uh, news are coming and i have something to announce in the following videos so yeah thanks for watching and see you in the next one ciao ciao